Okay, great. This is me, the Prem, aka Patrick. Um, today I'm gonna do a video about this tune I'm gonna show you here in a second. First of all, I have to thank DMB Archive for inviting me to do this breakdown of this song uh, because it's a very nice song and I, I like it myself. Okay, and without further ado, I think I'm just gonna show you this song first here. Don't you start again Yeah, I know that you know that we're more than friends Break my heart again Don't you start again Yeah, I know that you know that we're more than friends Just before we get into the video, I would like to introduce you guys to the DMV Archive Volume 1 sample pack. This pack includes 111 high quality presets and samples, some of which are used in previous videos. There is a currently 10% off uh, at the dmbarchive.co.uk, um, so check it out. Uh, cheers, enjoy the video. This is coming out uh, as part of an EP in 2024 on phase records um my label actually i'm working with uh, first i'm going to show you the drums here um these drums have a bit of a unusual pattern to it at least the kick for me i usually don't do um those fast kicks like that but in, in this track, I, I felt it kind of fits the, the vibe. Usually my kicks are uh, kick two, actually. Um, Enix does a lot of uh, their kicks with kick two as well, and I fell in love with this plugin, honestly. So um, cannot recommend it enough, honestly. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, bit of EQing after to dip some of the uh, high mids. Next is the snare. Uh, snares have been hard for me a long time, but uh, I learned a, a quick trick with a compressor that uh, helps me shape the transient of the snare pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna show it to you really quick, actually. So um, when I duplicate this compressor here, and I reset its settings. I usually go about compressing my, my snare drums like this. I decrease everything, the attack, the ratio uh, I leave as it is, and the knee as well. But the threshold, the attack, the release, I, I reduce it so 
as you can hear, if we, yeah, there is almost no sound coming through because everything is getting ducked, right? Everything is getting compressed. And if you start opening up the attack, you will let through more of the transient, right? The more attack you give, the more transient you will let through. So right here you can shape um, the punchiness of your snare. So I would grab only the transient like this. And the threshold, if you open up this, is the body of the snare. So I will show it to you at the same time here so you can see it, what, ha what is happening. So we've closed... Uh, threshold here uh, everything is muted except the the, uh, the the initial transient of the snare mm -hmm. if we close this again it's muted right and if we open up the threshold here you will get more of the more of the body of the snare and Like this, you can shape your snare pretty well. And the the advantage of this is that your transient always stays the same volume, which is pretty handy in drum and bass because you don't want to crush your transient out of nowhere, right? You want a complete control over the transient because it needs to stay punchy. Um, yeah, so if we have a look at what I did in the previous compressor that's exactly what i did about 70 attack a bit of release the release makes it more more tight at the end right but we'll leave it at that okay great um, next is the percussion or the hats and with that I usually use samples and there's no exception exception with that um, most of the time I listen to samples uh, on top of what I already have and chop or resample those so um, yeah This is all the percussion. Or at least all the hats. Uh, I have three different ones. First is the main one. And we have a slightly wider, higher one. And this is just the top layer to bring it all together. Great, I usually add uh, fills like this. Um, to get you more into the, um, into the groove, right? Because... Yes, exactly. So next I would go to uh, the, the bass here. This is the bass group, and you can hear the sidechain ducking, so for now I will disable that. I won't explain side chaining in this video. There's enough uh, out there that explain that very good. So, um, yeah, if you listen to just the bass, this is the first bass that I made here in Serum. Um, in this case, I started out with a preset from right here, which isn't important. <laughs> um, but yeah, I altered this preset a bunch I think and we came to this sound here uh, which was my initial impact sound that I wanted after that I think I made this yes I made this completely myself in faceplant 
Um, I won't go over everything I have in here, but um, very briefly, I have a I have a, a sub, I have a sawtooth, and I have some additional harmonics which get added as I go up with the macro here. And you can see here it wobbles a lot and it does this kind of unstable wobble to the bass, which I uh, find pretty, pretty beefy. I also have the macro 2, uh, which controls the movement of the bass here. Um, often I try a bunch uh, with distortions, different distortions, uh, filtering and then distorting it again. In this case, I filtered it first, distorted it with two plugins, uh, filtered it again a bit here, which is only minor, and then controlling the stereo image a bit and then pushing it through a clipper to get maximum loudness here. Yeah. And next are those fills here. Oh no. Oh, these are these are off, so these don't count. Um great. That's actually it. This song is only two bass sounds. <laughs> right here we have uh the synth the synth group and I will show you this here this is more as the name says more of an atmos thing right it's an atmosphere which I layered on top of itself a bit here and another sample here and yeah in the drop section of the of the song I also added this kind of neuro pluck which does on itself sound very distorted but in the in the mix of everything fits the vibe right and right here we have a lower one as well yes great um i also have a kind of complementary thing here it's just a bit to fill out the tops here yes great and that's about it um, very quick breakdown of this song uh, goes to show again that you don't need a lot of elements to bring a song together and if your songwriting is good you can do a lot of uh, stuff with just a, a small amount of elements right thank you guys again I cannot thank you uh, guys at DMB archive enough to let me do this uh, obviously I'm not uh, <laughs> I'm not a native speaker I'm from Austria actually and <laughs> that makes me even more happy to be um, internationally involved with you guys and yeah i besides music uh, just short ramble about myself i do uh, dj locally here a bit and can test out quite a bunch of my songs uh, if you want to hear some of those you can uh, look down below and uh, go to my soundcloud and listen to some of my songs uh, there are a bunch of bootlegs on there and a bunch of my original tracks as well this will come out in April uh, 2024. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope you tune in for the next one, I guess. Cheers. Seeing different dimensional entities. You can call me crazy, but you close your mind to ancient remedies.